Away from his role as Phil Mitchell in EastEnders, Steve McFadden was in court today describing his real-life drama as a victim of alleged phone hacking, saying he felt hunted like a fox by journalists from the Daily Mirror and Sunday Mirror. I'm surprised you even want to talk to me. The last time I saw you... Well, things have changed. Steve McFadden revealed how he never proposed to his on and off screen girlfriend Lucy Benjamin after wrongly suspecting her of leaking stories to the press. We were together for a long time and we hoped to get married one day, he said. I got very close to proposing to Lucy, but the biggest factor that stopped me was thinking that Lucy had a big mouth and was giving out information. He also blamed the papers for trying to ruin her career. It always seemed that their end game was to put her out of work. There was a string of stories that had a cumulative effect, another nail in the coffin. Mirror Group Newspapers has admitted to phone hacking and last month published an apology, calling it unlawful, unacceptable and wrong. Now this civil trial brought by eight complainants, mostly celebrities, is to determine how much compensation they should be paid. Another EastEnders star, Shane Ritchie, is one of those eight. He revealed he didn't speak to his great friend and co-star Jesse Wallace for five years because phone hacking broke their trust. We thought we were selling each other down the river with stories, he said, which of course wasn't true. The newspaper's apologies been deemed inadequate by these soap stars who say it destroyed relationships and had a huge impact on their lives. Sally Lockwood, 5 News.